The mail never stops. Here comes the mailman. Mail time. Mail time. Mail time. Mail time. Mail time. Mail time. When you control the mail, you control information. If there's something strange in your league, who you gonna call? Sleep on wire! Oh man, we're controlling the mail, it's a lot of information. We're here, welcome to the Sleeper Wire Mail Sack, the only weekly live advice call-in show. If you're listening on Dash Radio on the replay, the phone line isn't gonna work for you. So go to sleeperwire.com, hit that free advice button, send us your questions, and we'll get back to you real quick. Tonight, we got Dirty Jobs, myself, Prophet Hoos, and George. If you're tuned in, you want to call in live, you want to call now, you get a 256-65-SLEEP or 256-565-337. We're taking your calls first, uh, your questions first. Uh, we got anything, uh, callers? We got any callers? Yeah, we do. We got, um, we got, uh, Big Cricket. Big Cricket from Texas called in. What's up? Welcome to the Sleepwire yeah, Show. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Kurt? Yo, what's going on? What's going on, gentlemen? What's happening? What is going on? Hey, man, sit back kicking in, playing a little Madden, trying to get this conversation, get this question in right quick. What can we do you for? All right, so I, I hit up the, I think it's the Sleeper Bot app. I don't think it's or just the Sleeper app now. So y'all may have me on the mail sack list. I go by it. It's a Mickey NFL fan. Uh, not just to think about that until when y'all ask me my name. But uh, I had on there where I'm hurting right now. I'm in a 14-team standard. I'm uh, running three and four right now. And one of, the strong, one of the guys with the stronger teams just hit me up with a trade. For uh, I have Cooper Cup, and he's trying to give me Carry On Johnson. So my dilemma with that, it should be a no-brainer, but my dilemma is, is that right now I'm sitting on with my running backs is uh, I got Zeke, Coleman, and uh, Cook, and uh, who else did I scoop, scoop up? Oh, uh, I, I picked up Mostar. Like I, I was listening to y'all for last week and, and, and ran that uh, Mostar, trying to trying to hedge off this this bye week trash I got going on right now. Yeah, it, so, it's not the best of weeks, you know, unless you're planning for the future. You, you know, you're stashing some of those some handcuffs so you ain't got to grab them off the waivers later. Other than that, yeah, it's not the best of week. What do we think about this, guys? What do you got for wide receivers? I need to know that real quick. Okay, all right. It's, it's a little bit long list here because I try to do that whole streaming where I don't I don't take two QBs and two defenses. So right now I got uh, T.Y. Go ahead. No, I was just saying that a boy. That's the way to do it right there. But keep going. Oh, okay. I got T.Y. Hilton, Geronimo Allison, uh, Traquan Smith, Crabtree, and Jones. Yeah, I make this trade. I'm sorry, Mike. Let me let me clarify that because you know it'd be Julio, Marvin Jones Jr. Yeah. I still, I think I make this trade. I think you've got the wide receiver depth, and I think you're lacking at running back. So, I yeah, think Terry Johnson's just going to explode the rest of the season. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm okay. doing the. I'm doing the trade as well. Uh, Zeke is is obviously your your clear cut RB one. Um, Coleman, he's hit and miss. You really can't trust Cook. You, he hasn't played very much at all this whole year. Um, you, yeah. said it's a 14, you said it's a 14 team league, right? Yeah, 14 team standard. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I'm especially with it being standard. I'm, I'm, I'm trading Cooper Cup for for KJ all day long. Go ahead and do that deal. Yeah, I, I like that deal as well. Um, you're giving up, you know, a stud receiver here, you know, but um, you're getting back a, a stud running back in. Uh, he should continue on. I mean, I, I'd like to get back, a, you know, a piece back, you know, a, a nice little piece I could use. Um, so try to get a little bit more, um, I would say, because I think Cooper Cup still has uh, that wide receiver one 
uh, appeal uh, still. So I, I think I could try to get a little bit more in the trade, but I do like this trade for you. Okay. All right. And uh, I mean, I, I could run down his little list of what he got right quick. If y'all want to give a quick insight of who to, who to try to get at. I, I'm perfectly content doing the trade just as it is. I'm uh, yeah, Cooper cool. Cup for, for KJ, especially in a standard league. I, I'm totally fine. I, Hoos wants a little more. I'm content with, with it just as it is. Yeah, yeah so whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a fair trade. I think you're coming out way ahead, too, and I think you'll need the – I think here in the next couple of weeks, watch what happens in Atlanta, but I think Tevin Coleman kind of falls off a cliff. Yeah, I've been trying to see about possibly uh, – uh, I was hoping that Cook would come back and, you know, he would have just went ahead and, and, and fell back because, you know, I was doing the switch out for Coleman and Cook because uh, Zeke was, you know, was supposed to be the number one, of course, and, and, and Dallas, you know, they they having a year, so. I think well, – uh, 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 Any other questions for us? Uh, because I think you're going to be taking this trade. You got one more for us? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. While we talking right now, I'm, I'm going ahead and hit next step, man. I just, I was like, man, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't wait on to the to hear the mail show because it'll be like tomorrow. I usually listen on on one of the other uh, programs that y'all have, y'all that y'all upload your your show to. So I was oh, like, awesome. man, I need to go ahead. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. We'll carry Next on. Call. He's going to carry on to a fantasy championship. Amen. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's what I like to hear right there, baby. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about. I appreciate it. All, man. <laughs> no problem, man. No problem, man. We'll talk to you next week, man. Yeah, good luck. Uh, good luck, definitely. brother. Yeah, appreciate y'all. All right, we do have right. another call here. Uh, uh, oh, this is call. Mike right, from dude. Florida. Mike from Florida, you're on the show. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? What's up, Mike? Hey, how you doing? We're pretty good. Hey, we're pretty so- good. Cool. I'm um, so I'm two and five, having a rough year, man. Injuries. Sounds like you're not pretty good. So I got a couple guys. To... Yeah. Are you hear me? Yeah. 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 What's your What's your yeah. question, Mike? Yeah. What you got? Okay. Okay. So I got I picked up for sure. I even picked up Doug Martin just to see which one does what. This is my bench. I got uh, Ingram and um, DJ, which gets the team. But um, my question is this: I grabbed uh, the guy uh, most of too. He's, people are high on him, but I kind of need the here and now thing. Somebody dropped with Tavius Murray. I know he's whatever, but the Dalvin Cook still being out and him playing pretty good the last couple of weeks. If I needed a flex, I would it be smart for me to hold on to this guy at that I don't know. I know Frida's out, but I don't know if he's going to do something, or would it be smarter to grab Murray by Dalvin Cook is out and maybe flex him? I'm just trying to, I'm a little stuck. I feel like that's a good move. I like Mostert. I do. But the thing I don't like is the fact that Breida keeps deciding he wants to play. I don't see anything that indicates he's actually going to be out this week. He seems like he wants to play again. So I think that would lean towards the team this morning because you got guaranteed touches there. Yeah. Yeah. And they're playing New Orleans this week. And and that's not a terrible matchup for for the Vikings at all. So I'm agreeing with Mike here. I, Listen, I, I'm a Matt Burita owner, and I love his toughness. I love the fact that every week, even if he's banged up, he wants to play. But it's one of those things yeah. where he'll play, and then he's going to go out. And and he just kills you as a fantasy owner. And because he's going in and he's actually going to play, you can't start Mozart. So I would I would definitely drop him for, uh, for Latavius Murray. That's a no-brainer. Yep, that's a three for three here. Okay. Okay, I figured, I figured. I just want to double check. I'm, I'm going to do it tonight, so. Well, do I'm you have you guys go with. No, is there someone else you, you can drop okay. that you like most? Or... <clears throat> I mean, I picked, I, I, so what, I picked up Rashard last week, kind of on a, you know, on a whim. I read something about him before he came out of the no, yeah, later, I, but now they announced Doug Martin well. be. I still hold on to Rashard. Yeah, they said Doug Martin's going to be a huge threat. So, I don't know. I don't, who do you guys see? I mean, I don't. I would think Richard, I, but now they're saying Doug Martin. I, 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 I would, I would hold on to Martin. He, he is. 
Listen, if if he can give you what uh, Marshawn Lynch was giving you, he's going to be fine. You'll be able to you'll be able to yeah. use him uh, on spot on spot matchups. Mozart, he as far as I'm concerned, he is just a maybe a one week play, and we're not even sure if it's a one week play. I I vary in opinion here. I feel like Doug Martin is the actual definition of the word water trash. And yeah. I think- <laughs> And I think, I mean, he's just so bad. He's had so many good opportunities, so many good lines. I think it's going to be the Jalen Richard show before too long. But I think I, you I, I, wait on him. I got a bolt for now. Much I, 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 no, yeah, I, I wouldn't drop uh, Richard. So, yeah, go ahead and let go of uh, Mostert. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. who I would drop, too. Yeah. Okay. All right, man, you got yeah, another. I appreciate you guys. Man. Good, uh, good luck in uh, week eight. Yeah, tear it up. Yeah, man. I'll be, I'll be talking yeah, about it. Playoffs. Don't freak out yet. Bye-bye. I do have another yeah, caller, no. guys. Hang on. All right. Thank you for calling in, Next. caller. Uh, I got, I'm juggling. I'm balancing plates and juggling cats. Hang on a second. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Did you just hang up on him? No, but I think we lost Curtis. Oh, man. Oh, man. How the heck we lose the day one? All right, guys. Anyways, let me bring uh, let me bring Brit Brit into the show. Brit's a, a frequent emailer of our website, sleeperwire.com. So if you want to email us to get a question in, go to the free advice tab, and we'll we'll take your question through the website. But Brit, go ahead. You're on the show. Thanks for calling in. How are we doing, gentlemen? Good. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing well. I have a question. So I kind of screwed myself out of trading Carrion Johnson for Antonio Brown. So I'm trying to uh, make up for messing that bad boy up. My question is, what are you guys' outlook for Dalvin Cook for the rest of the season? It's as, a as, standard league. As a, Del- as a Dalvin Cook owner, I, I, I wouldn't mind trading him for pretty much anything I can get at this point. Um, when he comes right back... Now, I'm not sure he's going to get a full workload. Um, we've mm-hmm. seen what we got with Latavius Murray the last couple of weeks. Murray's looked pretty good. Um, I think they're going to take it easy on Dalvin Cook, reduce his uh, projected workload so he doesn't uh, risk injuring himself again. So I think he's going to get a reduced workload. I don't think he's going to be a, a workhorse back like everybody thought he would be coming into the season. So if I could trade him for for an upgrade somewhere, I absolutely would. Mike? Because right now I have in I was I was potentially going to be trading Aaron Jones for Dalvin Cook and Jalen Richard. You're trading away on running back for, for Cook and Richard, or you're I'm, trading away uh, Cook and, and Richard. I'm trading away Jones for I'm trading away Jones for Cook and Richard. Yeah, I do that. Uh, I do that. I do that yeah. deal, and then I I seek other deals for for Dalvin Cook. For That's Cook. what I do. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm not All worried right. about Dalvin Cook. I think Dalvin Cook actually, when he comes back, I think they're going to nurse him back. I, what is it? They said he's not coming back until after the bye week or week ten, like uh, week eleven or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah week eleven. Yeah. I mean, but that's right Pretty around the same time I'm starting to think about them playoffs. And I think Dalvin Cook's a great stash for the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, okay. I think. You, well, in that case, thank you very much. Yeah, for sure. You made out. All right, thanks. Yeah, thanks, gentlemen. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, man. Good luck, buddy. Have a, have a good night. Thank you. All right. Thanks for calling in, Britt. We got guests. Wild guests. Let's give the we man, got, let's give the man, yeah. some, let's give the man some applause. We got day one. Today. I can't yell today. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> what, what's going what's on, up, day guys? one? Hey, what's up? What's going on, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? How, How we doing? Everything good. How we doing last week? Everything. Oh, I punish. I punish. I punish. I punish. I mean, I, I literally, I, I put up, I put up, I put up a high score. I put up, um, I put up, um, two things. Mm, man, you're crushing teams out there, Curtis. You're crushing some teams yeah, man, out there. I was, you're hurting a lot of feelings. Yeah, man. I try to. I try to. <laughs> That's, what like to That's what we like to hear. That's what we like to hear. What you got for us this week, man? Um, um, there's two part question. Um, since um since since I got since I got Sonny Michelle with with her and everything like that, um I'm looking I'm looking at anyway, I'm looking at between um I'm looking at um between Martin Max I, I feel confident putting him in my 
in front of my Washington two, my, my running back two position because I got um, I got James Conner, but my flex position I love Kerryon Johnson, but I'm looking at Will Fuller as well. I, I feel I feel I feel that more the upside is in Kerry. I feel I feel the upside is in Kerryon Johnson, and I feel the upside is in um, Will Fuller. I can't I can't put Will Fuller I can't put Will Fuller in my other receiver positions because I got AB, uh, uh, Michael Thomas and um uh, and um. And uh, Mike, and Mike Evans, so it's just flex. It's just it's just one of those two for the flex. I'm looking for the most upside. I, I want to, I want the shortest week. I'm looking at Carry On. What about you, Mike? I like Carry On, but if we're looking for upside, man, that is tough. Like, oh, but I still think Carry On. We gotta have guaranteed touches. But I do feel like Will Fuller becomes a factor in it this week. Yeah. I have to stick with my rule. I can't suggest not sitting Will Fuller. So Will Fuller. Uh, uh, I'm I'm gonna go carry on. I, I like him a, a lot over uh, Will Fuller this week. Yep, and uh, I've been right, right. a little banged up too, so he uh, carry on should see some more um, work in a in, in a passing down situation. So I like him a lot uh, this week. Um, yeah, you're bumping that uh, after seven there here too. I heard in the background, man, he, in, in the music. Yeah, they turn that down. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <it's> <laughs> That's a good I got tune. You. I got you. Hey, um, and the last, um, the last part of the question is, I'm looking on uh, my quarterback position. I got, um, I got Watson and Winston. I'm, I'm still sure rolling out Winston this week. Yeah, I'm rolling with Winston. What about you yeah. guys? Yeah, I'm going Winston. Oh, I really like Watson. Yeah, I mean, but I think I'm good with rolling Winston out there too. All right, good. Because I, I don't believe in carrying two quarterbacks. I just, I just, I just don't. I don't feel comfortable dropping Watson. No, 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 don't do that. These, these are two quarterbacks you're holding. These are two quarterbacks you're holding. Right. I, I I don't usually like holding two quarterbacks either, but I'm I'm rocking you know two quarterbacks in a couple leagues. You know, I mean if if you got two top ten quarterbacks, you're not going to drop one. You know, so for somebody you can just pick them up and then use them against you next week, and then he goes off on you. That's so fun. Exactly. That's, yeah, that's my biggest. That's my. That's, yeah, that's my biggest fear because in my league, everyone everyone rostering two quarterbacks. And they're hungry for quarterback, so I know about chalk one. Somebody's gonna he gonna get um, oh, yeah. someone, someone, one of them get snatched up quick. Oh yeah. At least right, Curry, man, you got another question. You, you said that was that was your your second, right? Yeah. All right, brother, keep dominating those leagues, man. We want to hear high scores next week. Yo, Cur- Curtis, man, are you listen, Cur- Curtis? Curtis, you man? Curtis, you feeling okay? Hello? You don't got the same energy you always got. You all right, man? Oh, oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm good. I'm driving right now. Okay, all right. I assume it was in the background, you know, okay. and he was just listening to those, you know, smooth tunes, maybe putting them, you know, in a, in a mood. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah worried yeah. about I'm, you, I'm, more, I'm more relaxed right now. I'm more relaxed. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, but right. it's, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing here for you guys as always, man. I, I, I'm, I'm going to keep on listening. Excellent. Well, Excellent. Well, we appreciate you, Curtis. We'll talk to you soon. I appreciate you guys more, man. Oh, there we go. Coming up next, we we got – okay, so clear clear your schedule for the next 30 minutes. It's Prince of Philly on the show with his (laughs) weekly 20 questions. What's going on with you, man? How's it going this week? What up, guys? It's going. It's going. That was a good joke, though. I ain't going to lie. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Prince? What's up, man? I'm going to be short and brief. I'm going to try to be as fast as I can, but I got a couple yeah. questions for you this week. Okay, sure, you ready? Yeah. Sure. Okay. So, so my league is set up as PPR, but each running back gets half a point for each rush attempt. And then there's bonuses like a 40-yard catch is like three points. 100 yards is like two points. You know what I mean? It goes like that. Right. So, so I, just got, I got my running backs are Kareem Hunt. Mark Ingram, Matt Beretta, and Nick Chubb. So, you know, let's talk about that. My wide receivers are Tyreek Hill, Josh Gordon, and then, like, it's either Allen Robinson or Muhammad Sanu. So, you think I need a receiver? I got a trade offer for T.Y. Hill and for Nick Chubb. What do you think? Do it. Do it. Yeah, all day, all like day. That trade. But, but you've seen the point system. Each rush attempt is half a point, and, and Nick Chubb got like 18 rushes last game. Yeah. Yeah, but you said you're also getting bonuses for for what, what was the other bonuses you're getting? Like yeah, every 10 yards is a point. Every 100 yards is like two points. 
Yeah, I mean, you're talking about T.Y. Hilton, who's going to hit. He's going to have those 100-yard games. We haven't seen much of it yet because he hasn't been healthy. But I think we're going to see those. I mean, that's that's what Hilton does. Um, I do like the, uh, the, the bonus. But at the same time, I, I like your other backs, and you need the you need the receiver. Yeah, yeah. So you think uh, you think Nick Chubb is I mean, you think Nick Chubb is better than Mark Ingram? I know. I'd rather have Ingram. You rather have no. Ingram? Okay. You, you said you said a half point per carry. Half point for each rush attempt, yes. And then each quarterback, I mean each receiver and running back is almost the same. Every ten yards is a point. Every hundred yards is three points for receiver, two points for. Uh, okay, so so the back. so the scoring is skewed more towards uh, more towards the running backs. I'm not doing this trade. I'm going to change my mind. There, there's no way. Cause That's what I'm saying. If, if Nick, if Nick Chubb, if if he gets as his third receiver, if he gets, he's got he's got uh, Tyreek Hill, Josh Gordon. Who are your other two receivers? No, That's his. Muhammad That's Sanu, his. Allen Robinson. I picked up the guy Kirk. I picked up the guy Ty, Ty Williams. And you, how many you know? how many wide receivers do you have to start? Is it just two? It's, it's three receivers, two yeah, running backs, I'm two flex. I need T.Y. on my on my team. Uh, it's so close because your third wide receiver is no. weak. But God, it's it's so hard to give up Chubb because if he's going to get you fifteen to eighteen carries a game, that's nine points alone in just carries. Right, but he has other backs exactly. that he can use though. It's not like he can't start all of his backs. He needs balance. I, I could actually. I could. I could start two running backs and two flex, and the flex will be Matt Beretta and Nick Chubb. Right, but then you're. Where are you with your with your with your receiver? You're starting Sanu. I'm starting Sanu. I'm starting. Uh, you guys think Sanu and Allen Robinson and Ty Williams? These guys are like. like yeah. <laughs> they deserve. Yeah, it. yeah, exactly. That's that's exactly what I would call him, Prince. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit pat. I'm not I'm not doing that deal. I'm okay with rolling out uh, Allen Robinson as my third wide receiver. To be honest, I, so I'm, I got I'm not, one yes and one no. Yeah, I think two, one, two no's. I'm actually sold on the no too. That nine points, man. Nick Chubb's gonna get used like a oh, I almost yeah. just insert something very filthy right there. He's going <laughs> to get used. It's gonna be bad. All right, man. Where do you go? Okay, so two no's and one yeah. Okay, um, my other question is Greg Olson and Evan Ingram this week. What do we think, Mike? Yeah, you heard me? Yeah, we heard you. I, I don't, I'm going to go Evan Ingram. I think the, 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 the Giants, they're, they're trading away all their defensive players. They're not going to be able to stop anybody. They're, they're going to, they're a fire sale right now. Uh, their, their offense is going to be throwing the ball quite a bit. I'm I'm gonna go with Evan Ingram. Yeah, same here. Okay. I'm gonna go Olsen here. Good Olsen. Two, two Ingram and then one Olsen. Okay, another question is uh quarterbacks. I gotta start two out of the three. Andrew Luck, Big Ben, Jerry Goff. This week, uh or rest of the season. This week, I'm going luck. Week. You're starting luck every week. We told you that last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta yeah. start luck every week. Yeah, I'm gonna go. go. I'm gonna go Big Ben at home. I'm gonna go golf. Big Ben versus Cleveland. Big Ben versus Cleveland. Baltimore. Cleveland's uh, they're I, I think they're leading the league in takeaways right, right now. Um, I don't want to. I have to say I don't want to start in at home, but you got golf versus Green Bay. I I like that matchup a lot more. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go golf. I'm gonna go All Big right, Ben. Golf, like ben. ben. <laughs> you said go Ben. So two yeah, Ben's one golf. Ben. Two Ben's one golf. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's, that should be the name of your team. Two Ben's one golf. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. I, I got time for one more question or no? Yeah, yeah you go for it. There you go. Say that one more time. Go yeah, for that. it. You need one more. Sure. Okay, all right. Uh, no question. It's receivers now. Should I start Allen Robinson? Or should I start that guy? Um, let me just look up his name because I'm not really too sure. Kurt from Arizona. Allen Robinson for me. Allen Robinson for me too. Allen Robinson for you guys. <clears throat> All right, yeah, this, this, is not, this is not really a question. This is an update. Is Matt Beretta playing? Sure or no? We don't uh, know. 
at this point. Oh, you're not sure? Okay. All right, well, I guess I'll just call you guys Sunday, if anything. There you <laughs> go. I hope I didn't take up too much of your time. <laughs> no, man. It was always good talking to you, man. Good luck this week. All right. Thank you, guys. You take care. Bye. Good luck, Prince. We got anything else for you? Or we, we jumping into the sack? We ripping this? We are jumping this open? into the sack and right out of the sack. Just coming right out. We got Fellows 3D. He says... Watson or Winston this week, and Vikings D or Pats D. So Watson or Winston? Go Winston. Yeah, I'm going Winston. I'm going Pat. Winston here too, and then I'm also going the Pats D. Yep. Anybody playing the Bills, you're starting them. Yep, that's a great matchup for you. Right, right. Uh, we got Polly Pocket Fifty Two says half point PPR flex position start. Will Fuller or TJ Yeldon? Uh, I'm going to go Yeldon. Uh, so I almost wonder if they start working Hyden this week. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go Will Fuller just out of the fact I think they will start working in Hyde. And I'm going to go Will Fuller just based on my I will never tell somebody to bench Will Fuller again. We've <laughs> <laughs> been doing that since last year, right? Oh, oh, man. Man. Last year, I'd keep telling oh, people. Man. I, I, remember, I remember those weeks when we said, oh, he can't keep doing this. And he kept doing and he it. Just <laughs> kept doing it, and he just yeah. kept. And then it. we were just like, "All right, we get, we gotta stop it." No, you're starting. Them. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like him a little bit more, even with uh, now that we know Cootie's not playing this week. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I like him as well. Uh, I, I would prefer Yeldon, but uh, yeah, go ahead and go with uh, with Fuller. Absolutely, we got Good Wrench Twelve. He says I have Landry, Chubb, and Joku on my team. And starting. Not a fan of three from one team playing, but Chubb is filling in for Michael. Uh, Michelle, sorry. Who could I trade for and what value? I'm not trading any of those three. Yeah, I don't mind having these three guys. Now, I'm not as high on them this week. Uh, Pittsburgh can shut down that pass. I do still like Chubb. Um, but yeah, I think these, I think this is a good little combo to be able to plug and play out of. And the funny thing is, these guys that he have, these are all the the top, um, you know, he, he, these are the top offensive players on the team. So, yeah, I don't think you have an issue. Yeah, I don't really like playing all three of them in one game at Pittsburgh. That doesn't really make me too happy. So, I mean, if you've got to make a trade, I mean, they're just you're not going to get a good return value out of the. I try to trade Landry. Yeah, I'd probably try to get rid of Landry out of that group. He has the best name value, but I don't. I mean, I have no idea what he's going for right now, like as far as trade value. Well, he just had a twenty-five point game, so I, I think you know you could sell high. Or well, maybe not sell high, but sell that. Hey, Landry's Landry's in that offense. Um, I'm not quite buying twenty-five point game, but I, I think he can. You know, he's going to be up and down for you this season. I think, um, I think you're buying around the 15 point, 10 to 15 yeah. point game, or yeah. he's like a yep. Robinson type guy, something mm-hmm. like that. Yep. Absolutely. We got Farm Hole. He says trade Watkins for his Baldwin. What do you think, George? Well, I, I want the Baldwin side, absolutely. Yeah, I don't really want to trade Watkins, but I, I guess when you get Baldwin, yeah, you do it. You do it every time. To me, with Watkins, I just think we'd see some fantasy production by now. I mean, everybody on that team's just lighting it up, except for Sammy. I think I like the uh, upside of Baldwin. He has pick up Allison or and drop D.D. Westbrook. I think I would do that. Yeah, I, I, I would as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get Geronimo Allison. I mean, if you left him on that waiver wire for me, yum, yum, I'm picking yeah. him up. Yep, I've been trying to get him for weeks. Uh, be a trade in a few leagues and got some savvy owners out there, savvy owners. So kudos. Hey, uh, who's, I think, I think we got our caller Ben on the line. All right. What's up, Ben? Hey, how's it going guys? Hey, what's going on, Ben? How are you doing this evening? Uh, not too bad. Just driving home from work, stuck in traffic, but it is what it is. So, um, uh, so quick question. So I have, uh, I need to pick up a kicker this week. Um, I guess I got need to pick up a kicker for pretty much the entire season, of course. Uh, 
Actually, I ended up dropping my kicker who was on a buy and picked up uh, John, John Brown off the waiver wire. Nice. Uh, I've been looking at my team. Of, I'm trying to like two for one, uh, like two for one trade, but not a lot of people in my league want to trade. I'm thinking about maybe doing like trying to get Landry for like Canyon Drake and maybe Calvin Ridley, but I don't know if that's too much. Um, I know what you guys think on that first. Would um, you be on the Calvin Ridley side? I have Calvin Ridley, and I, I like. I, I would be because I, I need a two for one, so I can have so I can pick up a kicker. So Thank I would be looking to pick up like. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good trade. I think that's yeah. a pretty yeah. Good trade. Yeah, I'd do that trade. I would too. Yeah, if you got the offer, sure. All right, then um, if I can't work, work that out, because I think that's the only person in my league that would even trade, and that would probably be the only guy he'd trade. So if he says no, uh, who would you drop? I mean, all my guys are pretty good, so I'm hesitant to drop anyone, but I I, I don't think I'm going to win this week. I'm three and four, and I kind of need to win, so I think I need a kicker to even come close. Uh, so I have uh, people who would even be, like, in contention, probably uh, – Firstly, Calvin Ridley, John Brown, who I just picked up, but I mean, I guess I could drop him and pick up a kicker. Uh, Chris Thompson, who's hurt. Um, Kenny Drake. Is that it? Uh, I mean, the other ones I would want to keep on to. I have like Fournette, who's on the bench. I wouldn't want to drop him. Uh, Golden Tate, I have. I, I mean, I have Jordan Howard, but I, I'd probably want to keep him over Drake anyway. Uh, um, Although so I, think, I have two tight ends, but they're both, I think, like good to where they have more value over my other people because I have Trey Burton and Jimmy Graham. Mm. Solid team, real solid team. Um, <laughs> if you're forced to drop somebody, I think I'm dropping Kelvin Ridley. Um, yeah, but if I do it, I'm waiting for Saturday. I don't want anybody to scoop them up. I want yeah, to be able to get a, get a chance to put them back on my team if. You know. yeah, yeah, I'm dropping him Sunday before before yep. kickoff. Um, this way, you can if you want to get him back on the team uh, for waiver wire on Tuesday, Wednesday morning, you can you still have an opportunity. Nobody else will be able to pick him up. I would wait to the last minute, and and if I can't work a trade, I would pick up. I would drop Calvin Ridley for a kicker. Yep. All right, cool. Sounds good. And then I guess what's your guys' opinion on, like, rest of the season between Jimmy Graham and Trey Burton? Just play off, like, uh, just who they play against and who is just a better week? Or... Yeah, uh, yeah, just rotate them just, just as so. How about you, Mike? All right. I'm doing, yeah. play, I'm doing, play, I'm doing matchups each week with those two. Yeah, see, I I just can't let go of a running back. I just not not of his usage onto the waiver wire. So yeah, I think I'd have to lean Ridley here too. You ready? You still there? Oh, sounds good. Oh. <laughs> that, that was uh, that was pretty much it. Bye, guys. All right, man. Well, thanks. Uh, you call. Uh, good luck this week, man. You got any more questions, or uh, if you have any concerns? Go ahead and go to uh, www.superwire.com. Uh, check our rankings. They're there every week, every Wednesday. Uh, they're up there about noon the latest. Uh, so we're always happy. You know, if you have any other questions or, you know, you go to the website and submit a question as well. Uh, yeah, do we have any other calls or are we jumping back into the sack? Actually, we should let George hop into the mixer and get him. Let's get these listeners taken care of. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, John 718 wants to know, Andrew Luck or Mitch Trubisky this week? Give me luck. Give me luck. Yeah, I want all the luck I can get. I'm never sitting in luck. Never. Yeah. Um, Minimal Impact wants to know, with Zeke on a bye, Sony Michelle out, and Hyde in a Jags mess, pick up Martin, Moser, or Barner. Uh, he would like us to give us an order on which he should pick them up. And he will need to start one of these. It's a standard league. He, first off, you pronounced his name wrong. It's Mini Mall Impact. <laughs> Isn't that what I said? <laughs> uh, he's the minimal. Ah, it wasn't what it was spelled, but we all know it's Mini Mall. <laughs> no, I, I, 
I, I, I do these every week and he, listen, he, shout out to him. He's here every week. I, I know the name. I, I just fudged that one, man. That's all I did. <laughs> and I'm going to go Mostert here out, out of the guys. Um, I guess Mostert, uh, who else was it? Barner, Kendra Barner or Doug Martin. Yeah, Martin, then, um, then, then Barner. If we're talking about this week, I like Barner first and Martin last. I just I hate Doug Martin. See, I, I, I and I just don't know if if we see uh, Kenneth Farrell. Uh, um, I, I, I was talking about um, well, Steve had asked me on the uh, on, on the on the Monday show about Kenyon Barner, and I said, hey, man, he he's James White. You know, I, I don't know if. That's that's useful for Belichick. Um, I think they use him because he was the only one that was active. But they do have Kenneth Farrell on the team. He's a bigger back. Um, so that's that's the only thing that would give me a little bit of pause, uh, even though Kenya Barner did look good. But um, right, now I, I don't know if he's, he's actually what they want. I'm going to go Barner, Moser, and Martin. And that's just for this week. Um, if they sign another running back, I would go Moser – Barner, Martin, um, but I, I like Barner just this one week while you've got Zeke on a bye and, uh, and while Sony's out. Um, the next one is from Eric Musil. Uh, he needs a quarterback f- to fill in for uh, Matt Ryan. Uh, who do I drop on Saturday? Ronald Jones, Corey Clement, or Traquan Smith? Who should I pick up? CJ Bethard, Case Keenum, Flacco, or Rosen? Gotta pick up Flacco. I gotta pick up Flacco, and I'm gonna say, man, I don't know who to drop there. That is tough. Yeah, read that off real quick again, please. Ronald Jones, uh, Corey Clement, or Traquan Smith. He's gotta, he's gotta drop one of them. Uh, I'm gonna drop, um, man. I'm, I'm probably gonna drop Clement. I don't want anybody on that on that Eagles team at this point. It's, I mean. Granted, um, had Smallwood had that. Um, I think he had like a like a six yard catch or something like that called back. Um, for t- or I think it was for yeah. So if, if he had that extra seven points, it would have looked a little bit better. Um, so I do like Smallwood out of the two, but um, you got to back of back and forth. It, it, it it's a mess. Does it matter the size of the league? It's a fourteen team league. Um, um, and, yeah, yeah. And- and he's got uh, the waivers is set up to where it's like a rolling waiver. If you use your waiver claim, you go to the back of the line. And right now he's number two. And he also wanted to know if he should use a waiver claim or just wait to see who's available uh, after waivers clear. Wait. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely waiting. I'm not, I'm not using a, a waiver claim on Joe no. Flacco. No. <laughs> By any means. <laughs> I mean, if you're in a hurt quarterback league, then maybe. But yeah, no, I can't burn a priority on Joe Flacco. <laughs> nope. So, no, so Lindsey okay would disagree, but um. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm gonna say I would def I agree with you guys. Definitely wait. Don't use the waiver claim. Um, I would if it was me. I'm looking at the makeup of my team. If I'm solid at running back, I don't mind drop. I, I've dropped Ronald Jones before. I dropped Clement to be honest. Um, I'm just not a Ronald Jones fan at all. Uh, if I if I'm thin at running back and I need the depth at running back in a 14 team league, I'm probably keeping the depth at running back. So I'd probably go with uh, Traquan is who I would actually end up dropping, just because I, I can't see dropping a running back in in a 14 team league. Yeah, I actually uh, agree with that. I'm switch my answer to Traquan. And it, it's also a standard league as well. So running yeah. backs, yeah. the scoring's, you know, geared a little bit more that way. Yeah. So next question. Uh, let me scroll down here. To the bottom of the sack. <laughs> it's almost empty. Uh, I have Gurley and Hunt, two-keeper league, half-point PPR. What week should I start looking at their handcuffs? I'm doing it now. <laughs> all that stuff now. I just picked Malcolm Brown in a ton of leagues. Um, Spencer Ware in a ton of leagues. Um, I'm grabbing all these backups now because I don't want to spend, you know, all of my fab on them 
when when not when because I don't want these guys to go down uh, because I own the, those guys in a bunch of other leagues as well. Uh, but if they go down, I don't want to spend all of my fab on these guys. So I'm I'm rostering them now because at this point in the season, if you got guys that you're never going to be using, yeah, we got buys, but we're also approaching the end of the buys. You always have to be ahead of the curve in fantasy football. You don't want to wait where the buys are done. Now everyone's picking up those guys. If you look at guys on your team, you're like, I'm never starting that guy. I'm never starting that guy. I'm never starting that guy. Give me Malcolm Brown. Give me Spencer Ware. Give me all these other backups that, uh, you know, give me Rodda Smith. You know, I'd rather have the backups that, you know, God forbid Zeke's go down, Gurley go down, uh, Hunt goes down. I got the backup right there on my team. Mike? Yeah, absolutely. The way I see it is, I mean, the way you want to navigate your bye weeks, you want to make sure you get through those because that's why we stash our bench players in the first place, right? Is get those guys in there when our Antonio Browns and things. But once you start getting that solidified lineup, you know you're not going to vary from. That's when you start grabbing those guys. And that time should be now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, With with exception to like Amandola, uh, some of the guys we took, you know, Moncrief. So some of the other guys, who, who else, George, would you probably take over? I mean, it is bye week still, so I'm not saying you rush out there and do it, but you yeah. should start doing it before everyone else does. Yeah, I'm looking at the bye weeks on my team. If if the makeup of my team is where I've got a bunch of guys on bye week, like I know uh, week nine is a big bye week uh, for a lot of teams this year. If if you've got a bunch of people on bye week, week nine, week ten is when I'm doing it. As soon as I get over the hurdle of my bye weeks. And like Hoos was saying, like Mike was saying, I, I got a pretty consistent roster uh, going forward. That's when I'm looking to grab these guys. I can't, in good conscience, tell you to start it now if you've got a bunch of bye weeks coming up and you're going to have two dead spots on your roster and that's going to put you in a, in, a, in a real tough bind where you're going to end up having to drop a player you probably shouldn't just to hold on to your handcuffs. Um, so look at your team. Look at the makeup of the team. If you have uh, big bye weeks coming up, wait till after the bye weeks. But if you're already over the hurdle and you've got a pretty uh, solid starting core, go ahead and do it now. All right. We, we don't got, you got anything else in that mixler? Yep. I got two more. Nice. Um, Ricardo Banks uh, listens every week. He wants to know if he is crazy. I'm going to say yes. Uh, if he <laughs> trades, <laughs> he said, am I crazy if I trade Melvin and Hines for White and Hilton in a PPR? Uh, He also has Christian McCaffrey, Mixon, Adams, Allison, Godwin, Sanders, and Landry. He's trading away. um... The the way he wrote it is, am I crazy if I trade Melvin and Hines for White and Hilton? And I would say, yes, you are are certifiably crazy. I wouldn't. I would say no. I'd say you're not crazy. You're getting uh, White, who's a top 10 PPR back. I mean, if this is a standard, no. But if it's a PPR, yeah, I'm doing this. You're getting Hilton and and uh, and James White, so uh, I, I like it. I'm not giving up Melvin Gordon for yes. for James White and T.Y. Hilton. I'm, yeah, I'm not doing Melvin it. Gordon's even going to be healthy, so I'll, I'll, I'll roll the dice on that. I, he's the he's the number one or number two running back in in PPR fantasy right now. There's no way I'm giving him up for a package of White and Hilton. Right. Right, especially with the uncloud, the cloudy future that is James White. I mean, the guy looks good now, but he just always seems to be that third guy on the back burner role. I mean, even when he should be locked and loaded for this huge, huge go, he still doesn't seem to produce. So I think I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I, I would offer Mixon straight up for Hilton. That's what I would. I would oh, man, doing. I wouldn't do that. I would not do that. I'm not giving up Mixon for Hilton, but. Um, well, he's got he's got McCaffrey and and Melvin Gordon, so I I would do I would do that 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 wouldn't bother me that much. Um, next one, and then we'll we'll go back to the sack. Uh, go back to the sack. That's what I like to. Yeah, yeah. back to the sack. Uh, he, he said, "I'm trying to get Baldwin and Ty from this team, which is weak at running back. Who can I package to acquire them? My available running backs to trade are Dion Lewis, Coleman." Ivory Bernard. His wide receivers are Cooper, uh, T. Smith, Shepard, Godwin, Tate. Maybe two for two or two for three player trade. Mike? 
I mean, I think you're going to have to get Deion Lewis. I think Tevin Coleman's going to be a good guy to get in in there uh, just because he has pretty high value right now that I don't think is going to last. Um, that might be enough to do it just because of the expectation there. I would worry about uh, – I would worry about – losing him though Dion Lewis man he just has such a good forecast so I I really don't know I think I would be kind of content with that honestly I, I, yeah I think I, 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 agree. I, I think I'm oh, sorry go, go ahead Hoos. go ahead no, I'm sorry. Just, yeah I agree I, I agree with Mike yeah I, I think you're gonna have to include Coleman Lewis and I think you're also gonna have to include uh Tate if you're trying to get both Baldwin and T.Y. Yeah, just don't lose too many running backs, man. Their their premium time is coming. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, all right, uh, let's let's go ahead and get back to the sack. We'll come back to uh, Mixler here in a little bit. Excellent. We have a good. Oh, we already did that guy. We got farm hole. Oh, we did. That we did that guy. We're doing everyone. Hildemac is where we were. Yeah, we got we PPR flex. OJ Howard, Didi Westbrook, Chester Rogers, or Robbie Anderson. Give me OJ. Yeah, give me give me some give me some of that juice. Give me some OJ. Yeah, I think I like OJ too. Okay, pick two. Uh, one tight end, one flex. We got Jimmy Graham, Trey Burton, Taylor Gabriel, Chris Carson, uh, Aaron Jones, Marquise Goodwin. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna go Burton and Gabriel. I think I'm going to go Burton and Carson myself. I'm going to go Burton and Carson as well. Okay. And then he says PPR flex, Duke Johnson, Howard, or Robinson? Or Rudolph. Sorry. (sighs) Uh, I'm not doing Duke. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Howard. I'm going to go Robinson. Uh, That's who I was going. That's who I was going back and forth with is between Howard and Robinson. At this point, I just feel like he's, I guess, the safest guy. See, I don't hate I feel it. Howard had a really good week last week, and I think those continue. So I think I go with Jordan Howard here myself. Uh, we got I hope lot- you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a lot of Howard and been training for him. Yeah, it's woo. He needs, he needs to start going because I've been doing the same thing. We got Microdose. He says, thoughts on a trade, trade deadline. And any possible predictions? I think we still see Le'Veon Bell move. Uh, I don't, we're not, we're not going to see a Le'Veon Bell move. Yeah, he's, he's not going to report in time for that nope. to happen. He's, you know, he's, he's in complete control. He's not going to report yeah. until after the trade deadline. I think you might see um, McCoy if he's if he's the concussion. If he doesn't have a serious issue, I think we could still see McCoy move. I'd still hold on to Ivory and, and – um, and want to roster uh, well actually I'd, I'd rather have Marcus Murphy um, just because Ivory believe he's a little banged up as well so um, if, if any speculation other than that um, it, it's so it, hard it's so hard to predict trades in the NFL right. yeah yeah like a man I think is on a few blocks and things like that I mean there's all kinds of rumors and speculation going UTD, on right? even. yeah I've heard uh, Demarius Thomas as well yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's hard to predict, but with with today's day and age, we usually hear murmurs of them. Um, so you can just kind of check it out. There's usually not that many that are just straight up off the radar. Like they, you know, we knew that Cooper was going to be moved at some point, even though he did. <laughs> Gruden said, uh, you know, he told the team that he wasn't going to move him, and then he just removed him from practice and didn't tell them anything. And then the team found out the way that everyone else found out. But I mean, you, usually you hear of some sort of murmur. So other than McCoy, I, I think that's pretty much uh, the only rumor I can really think of other, other than just stretching and reaching for something. Absolutely. Uh, we got fuller or in the bag says pick one to start in half point. Edelman at Buffalo, Howard at New Jersey, or New York, whatever, the Jets, or Cobb at the Rams, or Olsen at Baltimore. 
versus Edelman. Edelman at Buffalo. Edelman. Ooh, yeah, I think I take Edelman here too. Uh, pick one to start in half point: Boyd versus Tampa Bay, Galladay versus Seattle, Allison versus the Rams, or Collins versus Carolina. Uh, I'm going to go Boyd versus Tampa Bay. I, I'm not a big believer in that Tampa Bay defense. I think they're going to get exposed once again this week. Yeah, I'm going Boyd as well. Yeah, especially after Andy Dalton gets embarrassed. He's pretty good about going out there and throwing a good game. So Try to go get Boyd if you can. Yeah, people are way down on him. I saw yep. him on a couple of waiver wires. And it was, yep. Yeah, yep. I, I put a claim in. I put a claim in today to get him in my uh, my sorry ass work league. Uh, they, 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 those guys drop players left and right, and I'm just scooping them up. Give them yeah. to them. <laughs> nice, awesome. Uh, we got Fuller House. He says trade away Deshaun Jackson and Philip Lindsay for Keenan Allen and Sony Michelle. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think I do this trade. I like yep. Philip Lindsay a lot, but I think I like Keenan Allen better. So. Uh, I like Sonny Michelle better than Philip Lindsay. Yeah, same here. Uh, IJ89 says, Colts D or Cardinals D? Uh, this week, uh, give me Colts. Yeah, give yeah. me the Colts. I can't trust the Cardinals defense. Yeah, Cardinals defense just gives it up. They did just gave it up to Denver for good sake. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Next, John Brown and Jordan Howard. Uh, John Brown. Give me that John Brown. Yeah. Smokey Brown. Oh, dear. Give me that Smokey. <laughs> Chandler Joshua says, non-PPR, rest of season. Running back, pick two. Breda Ingram. I, I'm wondering. Mm. Is that, I'm wondering if that's Ingram. Uh, Michelle Cohen, Lindsay, or Johnson? These two in a PPR, you're going to give me – I'm it's not non, – It's non-PPR, non-PPR. Non-PPR, okay. Uh, give me – I mean, you got to keep Mark Ingram. Ingram. Yeah, you're going to keep Mark Ingram. You're going to keep Sonny Michelle. Uh, and I'd like to well, – Is that Mark Ingram? I mean, it's – oh, it says running back, so yeah. Yeah. It should be okay. Like, yeah, because I'm like, he has a spell like the tight end Ingram, but yeah. it says running back, so yeah. No, yeah, you're going Ingram. And uh, Johnson. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's Duke or David. That's the only issue. If it's Duke, don't keep, not him. Yeah. <laughs> if it's David, it's him. Yeah, yeah. If it's Duke, I'm going Lindsay. I just assume Duke. And now, see, with for me, it's Sony Michelle and Ingram. yeah, Sony Michelle and Ingram for me. If that's not David Johnson, right? Uh, Ruba says I have Sanders, Fuller, Marvin Jones, Allen Robinson, and Curtis Godwin as a wide receiver. Three wide receivers. Slots and most of them have screwed me at least once the last two weeks. <laughs> Who should I play behind Sanders so long as he's healthy? He also has McCoy in the flex and he picked up Ivory just in case. They're both questionable, but Murphy will probably stay on the wires through Monday. Should he keep his running back or his Buffalo running back in the flex or flex one of the above wide receivers? So that's Sanders, Fuller, or Jones. I, I think I flex Fuller. Yeah, I flex Fuller. Yeah, I'm flexing Fuller. That's 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 a no brainer. Yeah, so he says, finally, if Doyle comes back, should I play him over O.J. Howard? No, no not no. until you see. No. Uh, well, now the guy whose name I can't remember who's been ki- killing it. Swoop? Ebron. No, Ebron, Ebron, Ebron. Yeah, Eric Ebron. And now we've got Dwayne Johnson? The Rock? We haven't got no sound effects for that? Come on, where you at? Steve? Steve's working on his other job. He's he, he, if you smell what the rock is cooking, if I have to do that myself. Steve. <laughs> what the rock is cooking? Go. There we go. There we go. The rock needs a new thing. What are we doing over here, Mike? The rock says he's pick one in a PPR: Amendola, Jordy, or Drake on Smith. Mm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna actually go Jordy. I'm going Jordy here too. I'm going to go Amendola. I'm going to go Amendola. So you got Jordy one for Amendola. I was close. Close on the fifth. Amendola. Yeah. Give away Keenan Allen and Isaiah Cabell to get Mike Evans and Chris Thompson. Hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second, Steve. Hold on a second. Right, let's cut the music. This is not The Rock anymore, is it? Yeah. 
Ah, it still is. Ah, fuck it that. Was it was still The Rock. I <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> so what'd you Here, do? Like? Just fucking things up. Uh, Come on, man. Keenan Allen and Isaiah Crowell to get Evans and Chris Thompson. I yeah. think you're paying way too much. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing that deal. Yeah, I like my it. Evans with Jameis Winston. Just uh, no, thank you. I'd rather have Evans than CT. You just love Chris Thompson too much. You do. I mean, yeah, you do. Keenan Allen done. I mean, I, I like Evans and Chris Thompson over Isaiah Crowell, who's is he banged up right now? Field? No, he's all alone in that back. The blow power. But isn't yeah. he hurt though? No, that's and, below power. He's on no, no, no. I know, but isn't Crowell hurt as well? I, I thought I question. thought I saw something. I thought it's I just, saw something. He'll be playing this weekend. I think they're going to end up running Cannon in McGuire and seeing what they got while they tank. Yeah, I can't wait to see Elijah McGuire come back because he'll take over that oh, back. Yeah. So, so I, I looked right now. Uh, Jets Isaiah Crowell starts with full practice. All right, well, that's that's better news than what I read probably maybe earlier today or yesterday or something. I just I just couldn't give away Keenan Allen. He's a second half guy for me. Oh, we got OBJ fifteen. He says pick two running backs and a flex standard. We got Chubb, Miller, Drake, Carry on, Lindsey, Smallwood, Alshon. Hmm. I'm gonna go Chubb. I'm gonna go Carry on, and I'm gonna go Lindsey. Uh, I'm going to go, yeah. I'm going to do the same, except I'm flexing all Sean. Uh, he says, which defense to stream this week? Steelers, Arizona, Bengals, Lions, Chiefs, or wider, or Washington? I'm going to go Pittsburgh against uh, the Browns. I'm going to go Washington. Yeah, I think I like Washington this week, too. Okay, we got uh, which to start this week, Ingram or Olsen? Uh, Ingram. Ingram, yeah. Ingram. Ingram for me. Is, no, I have Olsen. Sorry. I have Olsen ahead. I actually do I have Olsen in the entire two. So By one spot. Yep, same. <laughs> <laughs> Would you drop Smallwood for Fuller with the Kiki news? Yep. Yes. In a heartbeat. Yep. yep. Even if, well, yeah, still. I, I'd have done it. I'd have dropped him even without the Kiki news. Right. It, it's tough because he's still getting most of the work. Um, but yeah. Absolutely. We got Mick NFL fan. He says, was just offered carry on Johnson for Cooper Cup. Yay or nay? I think, I think we, we all said this. yes to this. Yeah, I think we answered this. Yeah, we did. I I think he might have pronounced his name differently than I just did. <laughs> he may have. I'm pretty good have. at that. Okay, we got Drew DZ. He says Jalen Rashard or Kenyon Drake at the flex. Rashard or Drake? Um, I'm gonna go Drake. Yeah, I'm, I'm going Drake. I'm gonna go Drake as well. Uh, Ouija says, "Who do I start? Josh Gorkin or Crabtree?" Gorkin. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Gordon. Uh, I'm going Gordon. Gordon. At and Buffalo? Go. Yeah, give me some of that. Yeah. Yep, I agree. Uh, Latavius Murray versus the Saints or McCoy versus the Patriots? McCoy may not play. So, you're going Latavius. Yeah, yeah I like Even it. if McCoy does play, I, I'm still going Latavius probably. Same here. I don't have a rank. Hang on. And we got Knooker. Parker, we're stashing? Yeah, I have Latavius. Sorry. No. Sorry, I have Latavius higher as well. Um, no. no. <laughs> That's no. Parker. No. <laughs> he makes me laugh because he doesn't like football, so he gets paid to do it though. But he doesn't like right. it. Right, he's so good, but he just doesn't care. So yeah. he got the rock again. He says, "Give up Keenan Allen and Crowell to get Mike Evans and Chris Thompson." So we already asked that. Yeah. We got fantasy coach H two five. He says Drew Brees versus Minnesota or Jared Goff versus Green Bay. Um, I got Goff. Yeah, it's, it's so hard for me to tell anybody to sit Drew Brees, but I like Goff's matchup. Yeah, same here. 
uh, death from below. Gordon and Zeke on by. He just got Richard and Mustard. Uh, mustard. <laughs> mustard. Miller. Oh, I start. Yeah, I read that. Yeah, as uh, Radio Raheem. Let's just call him Radio Raheem from now on instead of Mostert. Trying to mess it up his name. Can, can we just dub him that Radio Raheem? No, we're gonna like, call him. We're gonna call him Mustard for now on. <laughs> we're, just gonna, we're just gonna fudge up his name every every on every show. I still think uh, for me, out of Richard Mustard and Miller, I think I go with Miller. Uh, yeah, yep, yep. I got Miller ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm starting. I'm going to start Miller, and I think he needs us to start two. He needs to start at the RB1 slash two standard. So if he needs two, I'm going to go Richard and uh, Miller. Yep, same. I got Richard and Mostert like one spot away from each other. Um, so yeah, Richard. He's a butthole. That's <laughs> exactly. He's actually not even a butthole. He's as strong as an ox. So. His, his ox style strength is why I don't like mustard. We've got Akavara. He says, just traded Le'Veon Bell, Tevin Coleman, and Cooper Cup for Philip Lindsay, Stephon Diggs, and Doug Baldwin. Opinion. What? Uh, you, uh, I can't give you my opinion. I don't want to hurt your feelings. Uh, hold on. Repeat that again. I feel like I heard that wrong. Bell, Coleman, and Cup. For Lindsey Diggs and Baldwin. Wow, man, you lost hard. Yeah, that's what I said. I can't give you my opinion on this because I don't want to hurt your feelings. This is. That's I mean, you terrible. You, I'm, I'm, I, you know, I, I just feel like you panicked on your players. That, and I'm, I believe that's probably what happened. It, it's you lost hard because you, you you got a deal. You panicked on a couple of your players, and you said, "Let me get something." And no, I mean. I this, love- you got digs, but that's the only part about it yeah, that I like. It. You know, but you gave up. You, you I don't. Fell. I don't. I don't mind the picking up Philip Lindsay. I don't mind Stephon Diggs. I don't mind Doug Baldwin, but I don't. I do mind giving up Le'Veon Bell, Coleman, and Cup to get those. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I, I think that was a bit much. But I mean, hey, you could all you could be laughing in our face if uh, if if you are of the thinking of Steve. Steve doesn't think. Uh, Bells were going to play it also, yeah. Um, so yeah, you, you you could be right. You could be right. So I, I, I only thing I'm going to say is 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 a uh, kudos to you for because the trade is done. So kudos to you for 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 having the you know this is the mail sack. You had the ball sack to to make this this thing done. And good luck, man, about it. That's only I can say. Good luck. Yes, sir. We got Drew Deasy. He says, "Who would you start at a flex, Drake or a shark?" Give me Drake. 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 Big Surge 24. I'm three and four right now. Running backs are Tevin, Chris Carson, Cook, Miller was offered Murray and Hilton for OBJ. Do it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Latavius Murray and and, and T.Y. Hilton for for OBJ? I'm I'm taking that. Yeah, running back lineup, I would. Cook's going to come back, I believe. I mean, I, I do believe Cook is going to... Maybe I, I, maybe you believe that it's not. So, basically, he's trading Hilton for OBJ. Right. And, I mean, it's three and four. It's time to start getting going. And you're trading Hilton for OBJ, and you're getting a running back you can use this week and win. No, no. He, he, he was offered Murray and Hilton for OBJ. He's trading away OBJ. Oh, okay. No, I yeah, no. That, that's why I'm like, I'm not. There's no way. No, no, there's no, no, no way no. I'm doing that. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I, I heard that completely wrong. I, I agree completely with red. you. Yeah, yeah. I'm going for OBJ. I'm not trading him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jolly Cronin, 21 says, carry on or Richards. Carry on, on, carry on to a win. Carry on to another fantasy championship. Oh, yeah. Cambo says, carry on Johnson or Jordan Howard for running back two at week eight. No, carry on again. Carry on, Johnson. It's carry on again for me, too. Big Papa Swami says, 139 says, don't believe the Panthers can run so Funches or Miami with no Albert Wilson or stills producing more receptions for Drake. Drake or Funches, one point PPR. I'm going, I'm going to go 
I'm going to go Funchess on this. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go Funchess as well. I have an unmarred uh, record of never suggesting Devin Funchess, so I will also say Drake. <laughs> Well, here, here's the thing, you know, like I was making fun of Funches, you know, on the Monday show. And I was like, I got to stop because he's been producing. He's, he's been producing. Yep, he has not looked as bad as I want. He's slow. He's, he's hella slow, but he's been producing, you know, like, you know, he looks like he's in slow motion, but he's been producing. So, Funches. yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't care what you look like as long as you produce. Yeah, and, and Funchess is doing that. There, I don't believe in ugly points or cute points or pretty points. I don't care. Points are points. Points are what leads to wins. So yeah. just, you got two of two for one. That's a fact. We got Blue Man Chew. He says flex non PPR. Alshon Jeffrey or Jordan Howard? Oh, Alshon. Alshon. Alshon for me too. Nacho Taco says trade Ingram for DJ. Ooh. I mean, getting DJ, yeah. Yes. yeah, I think I think if I'm getting DJ, I think I'm doing that deal. Uh, it's close. I guess. I guess, I guess you're D. De- no, I, I think I want Ingram. I think I, I think I feel safer with Ingram. Yeah, he's he's definitely the safer call. David Johnson's just the talent, man. He's so good. Yeah, I mean, I guess it depends on where I am record wise. If 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 I've got a, if I'm like number one in the league, then sure, I'm going to take David Johnson. Right, right. We got Star Destroyer. He says PPR. Who do I start? Traquan Smith, Sammy Watkins, or Christian Kirk? Watkins. <laughs> I think I'm starting Traquan Smith in this one. Mike, Mike, man, me and you, we're just, we're, we're eye to eye tonight, Mike. I, I'm going Traquan as well. You guys are eye to eye tonight, man. We're going to have to revisit this. <laughs> um, I, I feel like, you know, since, since Lucas isn't on the show, I feel like I'm just channeling him and I'm going to have to write down some things here. <laughs> Last week he was going to write some stuff down and what he wrote down, he looked at what we said and said, well, I'm just going to skip the show this week. Hey. <laughs> First show he's missed in a year and a half was the one after he said, I'm going to write some stuff down. Oh, man. Oh, man. Lucas, we know you're listening to the show because you wanted to be on it and you can be on the show, but I'm, I'm trying to channel you, buddy. I'm trying to channel you. So hopefully I'm right here in, in these two fellows. But you're going to go, with, uh, call, not caller, a uh, person who's submitting this question. You're going to go with uh, with Mike and, and George here. You should, anyways. I feel like winning. Hey, Mike, you want to do a couple more and then we'll jump into the uh, the mixers? Yeah, we got Akavara. He says he's also two and five and needs wins now. Uh, Nacho Taco says Juju for Landry. I want Juju. Yeah, I want Juju. You want Juju there too. And let's go ahead. Go ahead and hop into the mixer there, George. Absolutely. Uh, let me see. Sorry, the screen went up. Okay. Uh, J Bar says, "Hey guys, I have Hunt, Aaron Jones, Cohen, Chubb, and Mozart." My wide receivers are OBJ, Jeffrey, T. Smith, Kirk, Tyrell Williams, and Lockett. Need to play three wide receivers each week. Somebody is offering me Tate for Aaron Jones. Do I do it? And I asked them if this was PPR or standard and did not get a response. Um, I take Tate. I take Tate. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I'm going to trade Aaron Jones for Tate. He's... He's pretty solid at running back with uh, Chubb, Hunt, and uh, Cohen. So yeah, and we just don't know if Lockett's gonna see a, de- a decrease in production with Baldwin starting to come on. So yep, I, I like you. I, I like it as well. Running OBJ, Jeffrey, and Tate as your three wide receivers. You got to start each week. I like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wilson twenty seven. What's up, Wilson? What's, uh, Wilson? what's going on? Sorry, Old school. He, he, yep, he uh, he wants to know John Brown or Sterling Shepard this week. 
John Brown, give me Smokey. Give me Smokey. Mike? Yep, John Brown for me, too. Smokey Brown it is. Uh, next one is from Williard. Hey, what's up, Williard? I'm still waiting for you to accept my trade of uh, <laughs> <laughs> Doug Martin for uh, Adam Thielen. Just just hit the accept button on that for me, Mike. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> Uh, you wait a while for that one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to encourage him, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, he said he sent this question to the Facebook, but a poster here is he doesn't think that one gets checked as much. Uh, they do get checked. Um, would you just go ahead and trade me a RB for a non-inflated price? Okay, that was – real question. <laughs> it wasn't that inflated. Doug Martin's had a 1,400-yard season uh, five yeah. years ago. It was like uh, – I would like to answer this really quick. This coming from the guy who tried to send me Calvin Ridley, like for uh, James Conner. Come yeah. on. Uh, his, his, re- his real question is, Allison, Moncrief, or Grant this week? Crappy bye week fill-in options. Allie. Allison. My guy, Allie. Yeah, I don't even think Allison is a crappy uh, option. I actually, I like no, him. No, I don't. I love him. Yeah. Uh, the Chief wants to know... Who would you rather have rest of season? Standard scoring, Howard or Beretta? Howard. It's tough. Um, if 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 Breda's like healthy and you know like it, which he's not, uh, I guess give me Howard. Uh, next one is from same same person from the Chief Baldwin or Landry. Rest of the season. Baldwin. Landry for me. It's it's Baldwin only because it's uh, standard scoring. It's Baldwin for me. Yeah, Baldwin for me. Uh, he he said he was looking to trade the other two. So keep Howard, keep Baldwin, trade Landry and Barita. Um, the question for Jabar was half point PPR. I don't think that really changes uh, a whole lot for us. You're still doing the the take 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 give up Aaron Jones. Um, yeah. Ricardo Banks wants to know rest of season PPR Rudolph or Benjamin Watson. Uh, Rudolph. Yeah, as disappointing as he's been, you're still going to go Rudolph. I'm going to go Watson this week. I, I I think Watson. I think he scores a touchdown. It's first. Here. I, I I believe they're playing. Are, who are the Saints playing? Are they playing the 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 Bucks? I think he does have a really good matchup. Yeah, I think he's got a phenomenal matchup. I, I I remember talking with Steve about him on Monday. Yeah, I think uh, we're, yeah. Steve was Steve was real high on him. Um, John seven eighteen. Yeah, he's got Minnesota. Um, and yeah, you could you could beat Minnesota. Yeah, on in the tight ends. Yeah, uh, John seven eighteen says start two and a flex. Tate, Shepard, Godwin, Ivory, Bernard, T. Smith. Uh, Tate, you said Bernard, like Geo Bernard. I'm assuming that's who he's talking about. Yeah, I don't even know if Geo is healthy. Um, but uh, Tate and Ivory, if McCoy doesn't play. Yeah, same here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go Tate and Godwin as my starts, and I'm gonna flex Ivory. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta flex one. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna yeah do that. Yeah, I like Tate Godwin too. All right, and and that that's the the rest of the questions in the uh, in the mixer. Unless uh, Williard wants to come back and make me a verbal offer for Thielen for Doug Martin. All right, back in a sec, back up in <laughs> bitch like makeup sex. So let's get back to it, Mike. Can you sing that a little bit more like ACDC? <laughs> <laughs> I could have tried, but you know, I you know, so I, <laughs> we got I, I Johnny Jr. We got Johnny Jr. Seventy four eighteen says, "Drop Dante Foreman for Sutton, Moncrief, Christian Kirk. He needs wide receiver depth." Uh, I'm picking up Sutton right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got no problem. I'm not a huge. Foreman fan. I honestly don't think he's going to come back and be as effective as he was in the past. Um, I've, I've got no problem dropping uh, him for Sutton or for Moncrief. 
Yeah, I think yeah. Yeah, you could still probably get them either way. Um, so, yeah, I'm fine with dropping them. Okay, we got Sun Cal. He says, can we depend on Latavius Murray's enormous load? <laughs> I, 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 I can't witness it. I'm not going to, you know, so. But I do think he's going to get the work. Yeah. Uh, so I, we can depend on that. Sure. Yeah, I don't I think. Too. I don't think. I don't, I don't think you can depend on it. Uh, he's he's like an elevator, man. He's up and down. He's up and down. Sometimes he's firing all cylinders. Sometimes he's shooting blanks. I just, I, I can't do it. Yeah, I can't depend on him, but I think week to week he's a good option uh, as long as you can get him uh, get him rolling against the, the good defensive matchups. That's all you can do. We got Jolly Cronin twenty one. He says, "Which one, Carry On or Jalen?" And it's Carry On for me again. It's yeah. We've answered this a couple times. It's going to be Carry On every time. Yep. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy how many times that one's come up. I figured Carry On Johnson showed people what was up last week. Oh, we got Captain DC. He says one point one point PPR. He has Collins, Traquan, and Chris Thompson. Drop someone up for these waivers: Carson, Crowell, or Aaron. Uh, I'm guessing that's Aaron Jones, not Rogers. No, I wouldn't. <clears throat> Keep what you have. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I see. I don't mind dropping Alex Collins for for Aaron Jones. I just don't. I can I mean, see like speculate. I guess. But I think I think Collins picks it back up. The, oh, so. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at the yeah, sorry, Mike. I'm I'm looking at the three of these guys. They're they're obviously not his starters. They're they're his bench guys, and I don't mind dropping them for somebody that's with some upside in it. In yeah, Aaron yeah. Jones. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we got GFC Finn says I'm stacked at running back. Gordon, Connor, Mixon, Ingram, Foreman. What do I offer for Hilton? 12-team league. So his wide receivers are Djax, Jordy, Fuller, and Woods. Oh. oh you're going to have to pay up. I mean, I think you can maybe move Ingram for Hilton. But I don't like really yeah, doing that. Uh, yeah, I wonder. Who else does he have? I'm sorry. Gordon, Connor, Nixon, Ingram, Foreman, Djax, Jordy, Fuller, and Woods. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have to give up because the the guys that you have, they're, you know, aside from Foreman, you know, like you're going to have to give up. A, you're going to have to give up a top guy. So I guess, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to give up Ingram, but I guess if you have to fill, you have, you have to fill the other spot and you're really weak there, then I guess you do it. I, I'm okay giving up Connor, to be honest. I think, I think he's sitting on borrowed time. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I could see that too. Yeah, I, I actually rather do that. Yeah, I think I agree with that as well, just because I need Le'Veon Bell to come back. <laughs> <laughs> you and I both, Mike. You and I, I both. Have a few teams as well. I, I, I got him for cheap. Oh, I got him for super cheap right when that news broke that he was going to report, and then he didn't report. Uh, we got Sandman25. He says, thank you, gentlemen, for helping with that question, and you bet, bud. Any we got- day. Yeah, that's it. That's what we do here at the Sleeper Wire show. We got NorCal 22, Stafford or Smith? Alex Smith? Yeah, there's only Smith I could think of. Yeah, right. I mean, no, you're going, I guess. I feel like this is a trick question almost, but Stafford. (laughs) Yeah, Stafford for me too. Yeah, Stafford for me. H. Crew says Mitchell Trubisky or Cam Newton for PPR. Give me Cam. That's I'm rough. Taking, that, that, I'm that, taking Mitchell Trubisky in this one. It's so close between these two. It really is. Um, I'm going to go with Cam. Um, I'm going to go with who's on this one. But I it's close. Being a tough game, Baltimore is the real deal defense. So that's what I don't like about Cam. I think Newton. Cam's going to be using his legs quite a bit to make up for it. So uh, it, yeah. it, it, it's that kind of game where he has to. Yeah, you probably just shouldn't sit your Cam Newtons. I mean, it's one of those things you'd rather. I never liked Cam Newton because I, you know what? I don't really like Cam Newton that much. But 
he he always just puts up numbers, you know, and it, it, he'll surprise you when you put him down. So yeah. I don't really like Tim Cam. Yeah, I mean, look what he did last week. He had a phenomenal week. And uh, up at the first three quarters, though, he only had like one point or two points or something like that for the game. And then the fourth quarter, he exploded. I mean, he's got that ability every week with, with his legs and with his arms. So he I, I can five for you. Like, he has that ability for sure. Yeah. And, but like we said, though, this is really, really close. Very. Very, very much. It just jumped me way up. Sorry about that. Uh, nope. We got FDC. He says, who wins the standard? Who wins the trade standard league? I have Yeldon, Alex Collins, Sanders, T. White, Godwin, and Cup. His, Not really sure where the break was. It, 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 so he wants oh, to. He used Mike Tyreek Hill. <laughs> yeah. And his Christian McCaffrey, Sterling Shepard. I'm thinking. Uh, I want to say the Tyree kills the side that wins. Yeah, because yeah. it's standard. If it was PPR, I like the Christian McCaffrey a lot more. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay. So <laughs> I just I don't know. I still think I don't want to give up Tyree Kill. That's I think you're losing that trade. Yeah, I agree. We we, we both agree. Yeah. Uh, so we got Lester Squad, PPR, Flex, choose one. Alshon Jeffrey, George Kittle. Oh, Alshon. Uh, give me Alshon, yeah. Give me Alshon. Yeah, I'm also Alshon. He's he's doing way good, man. I don't know why he's involved in a lot of these questions. Uh, from the email. We got Mike. He says, half PPR. He needs these guys to be ranked for the week if you guys wouldn't mind. Rogers, Walt, Watson, Dalton, and Trubisky. I'm going to rank them as Rogers, Trubisky, Watson, Dalton. That was my exact order, too. Yeah, I kind of agree with you there. We're, we're starting to agree too much now, so we got to get it back off track. <laughs> It's, it's just working either all right or all wrong, and then we look so even if for the sake of one of <laughs> one of us being right, get it so. Well, we can always all be right. That's okay. That's true. We got, too. we got Henry. He says, "How's it going, guys?" He's got a few questions. He's got a two quarterback league. He has Newton, Wilson, and Trubisky. Wondering who to start. Got my answer earlier on this one. I'm going Cam and uh, Cam and Trubisky. Same with me. Same with me. Yeah, I mean, Trubisky's going to be the second, actually. Yeah, you need to. Yeah. 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 So we got. He's wondering who to start: two running back and two wide receivers, and a flex. He's got Mixon, Connor, Ingram, and Mac. So you're starting Mixon. You're starting Connor, right? No matter what. <sighs> Oh, Coleman and Bell, Tate Woods, Allen on a bye. So what I'm recommending for 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 this this gentleman right here, for Mr. Henry, trade some of your running backs. Get some wide receivers. You're loaded at running back with Mixon, Connor, Ingram, Marlon Mack. You got Tevin Coleman and Le'Veon Bell. You've got five starting running backs that, and you can't play all five. Right. I mean, look at the waivers. You got Allison, Brown. I mean, there's tons of stuff on waivers. Yeah, I, I would, I'd be looking to trade a couple of uh, my running backs p- to for a, uh, upgrading my wide receiver. Absolutely. Yeah, try to free up a spot. Yeah, that's tough. That's a good problem to have, though. He also says for his other league full PPR, should he start golf or breeze? I feel like we answered this. Yeah, yeah I, think we said, I think we said golf, but it was yeah, like, no, it was yeah, close. yeah, it, it was close. And then he also says he needs two wide receivers: Mike Evans, Doug Baldwin, and Demarius Thomas. Evans and, and Baldwin, me, yeah, Evans and Baldwin as well. Evans and Baldwin for me as well. Excellent. 
And then from the Facebook group, Dave DeVry says, the Mahomes owner already made it clear he won't trade him. Who else would you take rest of the season for a second best in points? He has Watson and Winston. I, I'm gonna lean. I'm gonna lean Winston. Yeah, just based off of how much he's throwing. To me, second best in points isn't gonna be either one of these guys. But for me, if I have to keep one of them for the rest of the season, it's gonna be Watson. Uh, just because I have more faith in his talent and more faith in that football team. Okay, Although they shown it, they're starting to get better now. Uh, Winston, to me, I mean, there's just too many garbage time situations for me to. That's and that's why that's yeah, why that's the reason I like Winston. Yeah, their their right. defense is so bad that they're gonna have to they're gonna have to throw to keep up. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it, I get it, but I just still feel like Watson's gonna be the higher guy at the end of the season. I get it. Yeah, we got Jeff Heiss. He says, would you drop Breida for Jalen Richard, 12-man league, full PPR? I wouldn't. I would I not. Would. Nope, same here. Uh, Luis Fernandez says, Geronimo Allison or Traquan Smith off of waivers, half PPR? Uh, you got to give me my boy Geronimo. Yeah, yeah, I like Allison here. Yeah, it's, this is tough because normally I'll, I'll take the one that's got the better quarterback. But they both have phenomenal quarterbacks. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> give me, give, give me Geronimo. Before before his injury, he was producing really, really well. Yeah, they're both number twos, but I, I feel like Allison's going to be better. Yep. Absolutely. We got Aaron Dunn. He says Amari's value in a fourteen team dynasty that starts three wide receiver and three flex upside player in a first. Someone offered Meredith Mason Rudolph in a high second. Can I get better? I think you can. Yeah, you can. I mean, the Cowboys got to uh, give up a first for him, so <laughs> I'm not trading him for anything less. I'm not downgrading. I yeah. mean, you just have to sell it the proper way. You know, I, you can definitely get better. Um, you know, it, it's it's just about waiting and, and being patient. Uh, yeah, I, I think I think he's in a better. He being Amari, I think he's in a better situation in Dallas. Um, he's not going to be the focal point of that Dallas offense. It still is focused around Zeke. Um, and I think that will, will help Amari. I'm not expecting a lot from him rest of season, but it, going into hey, next season I, and, and staying right. there. Yeah. Going yeah. into next, going into next season, if he stays in Dallas, uh, where he's got a full off season with, uh, Dak Prescott gets to learn the offense a little bit more. Well, no, I think, I think Amari Cooper will be, We'll be back to what we used to see from him a couple of years ago when he was having his back-to-back 1,000-yard seasons. Yeah, I mean, the guy just turned 24 in June. Yep. Like, he's a young guy, you know. Like, very young. He hasn't even hit his prime yet. Yeah, exactly. And, guys, I think that's I think it. All done. Oh, man. Drip, drip it out. Nothing left. All right, cool. Yeah, Who just fired. blasted through that sack? Hey, do you have any? Uh, do you have any more than Mixler questions there, George? Uh, let me see. No, Mixler is uh, they're drained as well. <laughs> is Steve do we get any calls or no? Nope, we call, go. No calls. Calls are done. No more. No more calls. We want to thank everybody for calling in, though. Woo. Let's go. Need to say as always, need to always, or something else. If someone <laughs> wants to open up and put it in there, you know, like, a, you know, hey, like I, <laughs> ready to go? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, I think we're done. I mean, I think we broke a record tonight. Uh, Mike really wanted to get to those baseball game. <laughs> <laughs> the Red Sox, man, you don't mess around. All right. Good luck to you guys all week eight. And I'm not going to wish to wear it sucks luck because I'm a sour New York fan. So, <laughs> well, yeah. just so, just so you guys know, the Dodgers are up right now, two to one. There yeah, we two, go. I can't believe it. That's <laughs> this is what happens. They need my energy. All right. Well, I guess we're going to take it home. Okay. Steve, you want to take us home? Yeah, I would love to. I'd love to take you home. Let's go out now. Uh, let, geez, let me start the music again. You, you 
guys suck at outros. If you had any questions <laughs> we didn't get to or you want to reach us, go to sleepwire.com, go to the free advice button, send us an email with questions through it there. We'll answer you very quickly. Find us on the Sleeper app. Look for the Sleepwire channel, Fantasy Life app, Sleepwire chat, Facebook group, Sleepwire Fantasy Football Club, Twitter at Sleepwire Show. And uh, we'll be on Sunday morning for the Blitz starting about 1130. So you can call us and get your start sick questions answered. And uh, they got the show coming out on Friday as well. So tune in, sleepwire.com. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Don't forget, support us. Go to gofundme.com forward slash RobJR if we help you out. Throw a couple bucks in our cause. And good luck this week. Enjoy the Houston Texans and the Miami Dolphins tomorrow. (laughs) 